Hi guys, it's Sophia. So today I'm going to be reading the UC personal insight question essays that I wrote that got me into UCLA. So the UC schools have one specific application that you use to apply to all the UC schools you want to apply to. Um, and in that application they have eight different personal insight questions and you select four of them to answer. Um, I will leave a link below with all the questions. Um, I think they stay the same each year. I'm pretty sure they've stayed the same for at least a couple of years now, so you can expect them to be the same this coming year. And yeah, so I'm going to be looking down at my computer to read the essays, um, but I also have some name dropping of places that I worked at and also uh, where I live, so I'm gonna skip over those parts um, and hopefully it still sounds somewhat cohesive. So let's go. Okay, so the first essay prompt is describe an example of your leadership experience in which you have positively influenced others, helped resolve disputes, or contributed to group efforts over time. I walk towards the prominent building passing a marsh of litter and chickens and tenement buildings. Once I'm buzzed into the building, I am met by a feminine haven and the chaos inside it. Women walk around chatting and children come running up to me as I walk down the hall. In the common area, I find my students watching a movie, doing crafts, or celebrating an impromptu birthday. My arrival symbolizes the start of dance time. During my freshman year, I used dance as a lifeline from bullying and depression. By the end of the year, I would gained a newfound appreciation for my passion and wanted to share it with others. At the same time, I realized that, I, that many weren't as fortunate as I was able to. I was to be able to attend dance classes and learn how to use dance to express themselves. I vowed to use my passion to positively impact others. After months of planning, I founded a dance program, and then I'm crossing this out because that's name dropping, um, at a place which provides shelter and resources to homeless ch women and children. Through this program, I t teach a weekly dance class to the children who reside in the shelter. Each dance class is different as I try to mold each class to the interest of the students and keep them entertained throughout the class. I feel fortunate to provide an activity that helps young girls build their confidence in themselves and encourage young boys to break stereotypes and ful fulfill their love for dance. Okay, the second prompt is everyone has a creative side and it can be expressed in many ways. Problem solving, original and innovative thinking, and artistically to name a few. Describe how you express your creative side. It started out with a summer afternoon and a quest to cure our boredom. We sat in a circle, all different ages, with all different ideas of what constituted fun. Ultimately, we landed on the idea of making a short film, something I was known for doing with my already extensive short film cr credits. This afternoon activity quickly led to two months of filming and an additional two months of editing. Pool days and movie viewings became movie scenes, a vacation became a plot twist, and our two homes became filming locations. I took on the challenge of fitting together the puzzle pieces of clips and learning to use the editing process to create a real story through the scenes. By the end of the filmmaking process, we had completed a one hour movie, an original song, a music video, and a promotional movie trailer. The movie, Everlasting Summer, followed four friends on their summer adventures together. We created alternate character personalities and talents to match our own personalities. We had movie scenes ranging from the Niagara Falls to the German countryside. We had orig original background music, which I had created with the help of the GarageBand app. The film project became my proud creation, and it was rewarding to show off our hard work to our parents. Although I haven't undertaken such a large film projects since then. I continue to put together, I continue to enjoy putting together short films in my free time. Okay, the third essay prompt is, what would you say is your greatest talent or skill? How have you developed and demonstrated that talent over time? It's an indescribable feeling, the tingling in your body, the unquenchable thirst for oxygen, and the dull pain from the overworked muscles. Yet, for a couple minutes at a time, I'm transported into a different world. One where the mind is still, but the body is in movement. As a toddler, I was constantly dancing, and this habit prompted my parents to enroll me at a Russian ballet school. At the age of eight, I was accepted into the professional training division, and I began the Vaganova ballet curriculum. At the age of 10, I began to train all point. 
My ballet training provided me the opportunity to perform in numerous shows with a professional company, including the Nutcracker, Fairy Doll, and Cipollino, and to attend summer intensive programs with renowned teachers. As I grew older, I began to find greater enjoyment in contemporary and improv dance. During my junior year, I took a phenomenal movement class, which pushed me out of my comfort zone as a dancer. It provided me an opportunity to develop my dancing and gain fluidity in my movement. Although dance-related injuries have limited my further growth as a dancer, I have applied my passion for dance to, teaching, to teach dance to a younger generation of children and produce choreography for young dancers. In my junior year, I had the opportunity to start an internship at a breast cancer research lab. I work alongside post-PhD researchers on a protein responsible for breast cancer regulation known as LBH. I conduct polymerase chain reaction PCR experiments to amplify DNA from mouse lines to analyze their genetic makeup and decipher mice with knockout alleles who carry the LBH mutation. I also analyze human tumors and photograph tumor sections stained with antibodies for documentation. The tumors are taken from immune compromised mice injected with human tumor cells. Some of my data is being used for manuscripts and the rest will be used for further research. This research opportunity has helped broaden my knowledge of science beyond what I have learned from general, general science courses in school. I've been able to, um, to better understand how science works in the context of the real world. The biggest realization I made is that research is a timely and precise process. For example, over the summer I performed a PCR experiment that gave false results due to a small error made in the process. From that mistake, I realized that I had to be very focused when preparing the samples, and I continued to repeat the PCR until the results came out correctly. It was an important life lesson, not, not just for research, but in general as well. If you want the best results, you have to be very focused. So those are my UC essays. Um, I have not read through them since I submitted them, and reading through them now, I realize um, there definitely were some mistakes I made and some things I would have changed if I could do it over again. But that goes to show that your essays don't have to be perfect, but you should write something that is genuine, something that you've experienced, um, and something that's important to you. Um, for example, the filmmaking one, I remember that I was going between talking about that and then something else that wasn't that genuine, uh, but I ended up going for the filmmaking one because that's something, that was a project that I was super passionate about, even though I did it quite a long time ago before I was in high school, it still constitutes uh, my personality to a large degree. So yeah, um, hope you enjoyed.